Hi friends, I am Shramana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will see how to read the inputs from the configuration or spark submit command in Python. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So friends, uh, while using the spark submit commands, right, you might have uh, sent some files in the, as the input to the program. So today we will see how to read them. So as I don't have the setup for uh, Spark submit and all that cluster and all. So now I will show how to do that in the IDE, but it's the same. So in the IDE, I'll show you how to send the uh, like uh, command line arguments, like uh, run runtime arguments, like how to send it. Similarly, you will send it using the Spark submit, but the code is same. Okay, using the same PySpark Python code, you can write the same code and read the arguments from Spark submit command. So let's uh, start with this. Now before starting, I have a file uh, in the D drive emp sal.csv. So now I'm going to spider. Hope you remember how to open the spider. It's like from Anaconda prompt. You can have uh, this kind of uh, folder. Click on this Anaconda Navigator, and once you click here, you have the spider. You can launch it. If you are using PyCharm, you can install and launch it from here. I have already done it, so I have opened the spider. So now, go to oh, create the file. Go to run. Here you can see configuration per file. Okay. So here the last option select the last option from the general settings which is command line options and enter this file name okay click on ok and now we have to import sys for the for using the sys argument system arguments now create a variable and sys dot r r v this is the sorry this is the uh, like here we have the sys system arguments which we are sending in the runtime uh, through spark submit or using this configuration and first we are assigning that to a variable here okay so now how you can uh, directly split this now we are sending a file right so we can say sorry file name equal to sysargs Di I mean directly also we can do just for your understanding I am giving it this way directly you can say file name equal to sys argument so now we know that we have a file name here inside this variable now we will see how to read this just to, to uh, verify whether we are really able to read a file because usually the configurations and all will be sent using this file right in the spark submit command as a input so during that time if you wanted to read any input file or configuration file from the arguments like spark submit arguments then you read using this sys.argv method and assign that to the method and then you can use it in the file you can use them in the python or pyspark Py program okay so open this and read mode because we are opening in the read mode in the previous videos i have uh, explained what exactly is the uh, uh, how to read a file how to uh, open a file for writing how to open a file for appending if you have any questions regarding this please check out the old videos okay so now we have we have read the file to this inside this read file uh, variable so now how to print this is and uh, we can actually we can directly read or we can say say that lines equal to read file dot we have again uh, read line and read lines so now I am taking read lines and then for I in lines print I okay now let's run this code to see whether we are able to read the file so now here you can see the file it has taken the argument as d drive emp sal.csv and we are uh, 
csv and we are we are reading we are able to read all the files okay so i dot strip and when i run the extra spaces are gone and it is able to print the file successfully so now let's say you have a configuration file and you have to read that then you read similarly okay and once you have that file name you can use that file name and you you can open it uh, this way or you can actually use the config parser there is another option like uh, uh, import config parser as cp something like that is there so you can use this uh, for uh, reading the file but uh, that is again the for the local uh, re for file reading method but if you have something here in the arguments uh, you can this is the way you can get that arguments into the variable so once you get this into a variable then again it's your wish whether you wanted to open it using this uh, file um, this uh, uh, read read uh, file stream or you can use the config parser for reading this file there are two ways to do that and that's your wish whatever you wanted to use and here actually this is the first argument so we have to mention it uh, in the square braces now let's say if you have more than one argument how to read that is go to run and in the configuration file just give the space like how we give it in the um, this one right um, spark submit command how we, uh, after giving the spark submit master and the what is the mode and what are the other config files what are the files uh, what is a p dot py file and if you have a file uh, everything that you mentioned right so after that uh, at the end you have to pass the uh, input parameters for the spark submit command so that time just uh, give the space and give multiple arguments and in the code how are we going to take that is this uh, file name is this one uh, second arg okay i'm i'm simply taking okay uh, just for uh, showing you that how to read if there are multiple parameters okay and similarly third arc and this is third parameter and we can actually print them also first argument file name file name and you can actually use the okay that we will print using the second one using the format method also we can print second argument dot and here you have to give like this dot format inside the format you have to pass the uh, whatever you wanted to print in the print statement like how we have a dollar sign in unix right similarly so third argument comma third argument so now let's run this and you can see the first argument is this one second argument is this one third argument is this one so like this once you have these values you are able to read it then you can further uh, develop the code for whatever you wanted to do with that arguments so friends this is how using this is the main uh, command that you have to remember so this is the command to be used for reading the arguments from the spark submit command I hope this is uh, useful to you friends. Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings. Thank you.